All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode eight of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. So we are no longer in Markarth proper. We are right here. We are on our way to Reachcliff Cave to clear out the Draugr there, to learn more about the cannibalistic rituals that are happening there. We, uh, we believe there might be more of them. So we're going to try and infiltrate the group see if we can dispatch of them because there probably aren't that many right but we want to figure out what's going on here so we are here at dushnik dushnik y'all i think i pronounced that correctly hopefully we uh we were passing by around them and we wanted to learn a little bit more about them so that's what we're going to be starting our our episode with today is just kind of riding up and learning more right hold out longer by the code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. Uh, I'm just a traveler. What is this, this place? This is our stronghold. Here, we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Norns. You're not an orc or bloodkin, so stay out. We only help our own. Um. Well, just because we're curious, how can I convince you to let me in? Hmm. We've heard whispers of an enchanted pair of gauntlets, hidden and protected by dangerous men, beasts, or worse. They are called the Forge Master's Fingers. Bring them to our chief, and he will decide if you are worthy to be bloodkin to the orcs. Yeah, we can find those. We will see. Right? So... Oh, oh where's she going? It didn't give us the quest. This is one thing that I discovered, uh earlier is that sometimes it won't actually give you the quest we won't kill you outlander but we don't want you here fair enough um hmm. they are called you know same thing blah 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 i'll find we the gauntlets there we go so sometimes sometimes it just doesn't like actually give you the quest so let's see i'm just curious as to where they are right uh cool all right Nice little, nice little cave that we have to go check out. That shouldn't be too hard. Those gauntlets are actually incredibly powerful. Um, they're they're basically like grand soul gem level enchantments. Hey, coward, what's up? So the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this tower here, just because this is pretty cool, right? Oh, wolf! Wolf! Oh, I missed. No. <laughs> There we go. All right, one happy little soul gem filled. How many petty soul gems do we have left? Uh... Oh no, none. And so we just filled a, a lesser soul gem with a petty soul. Okay, we definitely have to stop doing that. Oops. Doing pretty good, Coward. We're on our way to go take out a group of cannibals, but today, or right now, we're uh, doing a little bit of exploring first, right? Oh, okay. Looks like nobody's here. Fancy chair, though. Heavy armor book, common soul gem, an iron mace. Anything like good here? Decorative struts. I don't know. Can we can we break down the decorative struts? I don't think we can. Oh my god, we can! That's great! So we can probably salvage all the stupid little things here, right? Yeah. There we go. I mean we're still over encumbered, but. It used to be that only the large metal pieces you could salvage, right? So now we can salvage everything. I don't know where Eric is though. Here and there he is. So we'll break down all the. Uh... Wow, the solid metal pieces weren't that uh... fruitful, I guess you could say. Eric, get back up here, please. What are you doing? Here, we'll pick this open. Maybe he's like stuck on... I don't know what he's stuck on, but... Wow. 
Okay. Um, health regenerates 40% faster. We might break that down to learn the enchantments. Look at all this stuff. Holy cow. It was all just kind of chilling in here, right? So here, we'll, we'll head outside. We should come here more often. All right, Eric's stuck in the door. That's always a good sign, right? And then this is an expert level one, so we'll see if we can... Ah. Oh. No. Nope. Nope, nope. Oh, was that it? Hold on. No. All right. So we're off to a bad start. Hey, okay. There we go. A little bit lower. Oh, we we're so close. Like here. Lower. No, it was higher. Thank you all for your patience. This is why we need some enchanted lock picking gear. Seriously. This is probably the worst one I've ever done. Like, there we go. That only took seven lock picks, right? Ooh, all right, we'll take that. We'll break those down, some gems. Nice. Large strut. Did we break down anything else? Um, no, nah, I mean, we did find a battle axe on the way here, but what else is this? My helmet? We're not breaking down my helmet. Come on, come on. Give me... Eric. It just feels right somehow. Sure thing. We're gonna give him all of that. And, uh, oh my god, he doesn't have enough inventory space for it. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll have to put it on our horse. Let me know if you need anything. Here, so we'll just kinda... Eh. Where's my horse? All right, we'll just slowly make our way over. No, 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 get back here. There we go. Oh yeah, we have these wolf and elk on there still. I forgot about those. Still over encumbered, huh? All right, we'll take the elf and the wolf, or elf. <laughs> the elk. And we can put the wolf back on, so that's helpful, right? But the horse will be over encumbered. All right, now we'll quickly make our way down and around the corner here, and we'll start getting into the action. Pretty good loot though, right? Uh, so we're, I don't really know what's going to be inside this place, but it should be pretty freaking exciting. So we'll uh, take a little bit of a shortcut here. You've come. The Draugr infesting the Mirror Sanctuary are inside. Um... What do you think? Nah, we might just accidentally kill her. Then I'll wait. Cave up ahead. Trouble? Or maybe trouble? Drop this. Alright, you can, you can eat the elk, but... Save me the ingredients. <laughs> what? Oh, I think it's this? That we're over encumbered with, and uh, yeah, we just found this, right? We have to offload a couple of pieces of gear that we found here. I think what we'll do, we also have like meat that we don't need. That should be all set, I hope. So what we'll do is we will give that to Eric. Here we'll take our uh, hunter's hearty stew. I don't think we're gonna need a beef stew for in here, right? I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna use our silver weapon and, oh, okay, there we go, we entered.
is there anything else we could probably use while we're in here? I mean, we could use a, an engraved bone like that, but eh, eh. Oh yeah, Eric has Dawnbreaker. So this is gonna be really cool, right? We get to see Dawnbreaker in action. Someone there. Ah! Over here. Eric, take him out. No, come. Yeah, if you say so, Eric. Come on, bro. Come down here. Don't use your bow. He'll hopefully catch up. I think he didn't want to jump down the, the cliff or something, but... He's what coming. Something just... Whoa! Alright, alright. Whoa! Oh, look at it burn! Oh, that's so cool! That is so freaking cool. All right, we need to be careful of traps. That's one thing I'm trying to remember here. Die! Steel shield, yeah. I hear the zombies. Is this a dead end or is this forward? Nice. I hope it doesn't cause fear on them, because that is like a massive pain in the butt. Now, I think that might have been the way forward, and this... Oh, okay, this must be like a special kind of little... Oh yeah, look. Eh. No! Oh, oh, oh. Ah! No! Alright, well, we didn't, uh... We didn't get hit by the trap, which is nice, but I should have just kept picking the lock. There's probably only one good way to reach this, right? Which is... Bad. I have to remember to use my dragon shouts more often, right? I mean, we have them. Might as well use them. Probably what, a little bit lower. No? Oh, okay. Nice. And it's, oh, we did actually get something. We got a garnet, and that's not even worth taking, and we got a level up, so, you know. Those are good. Garnets and level ups are always appreciated. Anything up there, you think? No. Nah. Hello! Goodbye. Go back to sleep. This is how I'm gonna get my kids to, to go back to sleep when they wake up in the middle of the night. I'm gonna threaten them with a silver greatsword. It's the most efficient way to do it, right? Yeah, we'll take that. Learn all of its magical effects. What we got here? Eh, steel helmet, some books. Well, that's actually worth some money. So we'll take that. Oh, that could have been a way for us to, uh... Here, we haven't read this yet, so Olaf and the Dragon. Some of these books we're gonna, like, from frog to man. Remember, we collect books, so... I don't care about the urns. All right, in in deep we go. Hmm. I don't think I like where this is going. Oh, here's the shrine of Namira. Yikes! Looks like that's some sort of way out, or oh. Huh. All right, we uh, we'll keep that open, please. I'm looking. For, I was looking to open that one, but. All right, this way, please, Eric. Whoa! Hello? Yeah! <laughs> Yo, that did like nothing. 
Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, we didn't need the bone meal. Bone meal is like, it doesn't do anything good, so. So let's see, any of these guys have anything right now? Okay. Anything cool in here? I don't think so. How do they manage to wake up the dead, huh? Ooh. Okay. This is certainly spooky. Spooky enough. So what we got? Four amber. Eh, we'll take that, right? Great potion of illusion. Nice little helmet we can sell. Increases damage set with one handers by 15%. What, what ring does Eric have? Where's the Eric? I can Just see the right Eric. Somehow. No problem. How can I help? Or I could hear the Eric, but I could not see the Eric. What do you have for a ring, bro? Magic resistance. Yeah, I think this is probably more appropriate for him. Okay. Is there anything else you need? No, I think that's it. Would have been even funnier if we went in here and just killed only that guy. Like, we just ran past everybody else. Oh, look, this dropped down. Make it a little bit easier to, to get out. I don't know how. But, you know. What was that? Lion and Lure? Opala? If you, if you ever get to read the uh, Opala series, definitely do so, right? They don't want us here, the ancient ones. Really good Sears. What was what was Eric saying there? I'll have to go back and check, but Reach Cliff Secret Entrance. Okay, so this will be helpful for uh something for two. Oh my god, we're all the way over there, huh? All right, we'll we'll run back over to where we're supposed to be. In fact, we'll we'll take the river just for fun. Come on. It's like, can I not? Woo! Oh, oh, look! Treasure chest. Was this perhaps one of the uh, the treasure chests that? We have a map for? Shit. Iron head there. That's pretty good, right? Fortify carry weight, scroll of frenzy. <laughs> Who's fighting there? Did we just save this Imperial? Thanks for the help. Not many willing to take on the Forsworn these days. Cool. Alright, yeah. They have anything cool? Um, oh, did we... <laughs> did we accidentally kill an Imperial? Or are they already dead? I don't know. All right, good luck, bro. What was that book? Nice. Goat horns? Yeah, we don't really need those. Here we go. Was it... Here, then, maybe? Yeah. Nice. A bunch of imbued human remains, all right. That's for me, right? What was that? 
Hagraven Feathers Tent. Yo, five Hagraven Feathers. Nice. Wait, can we do that to all of them? No, I don't think so. That was still pretty cool, though. We got him from those. What? No! We've done it. The shrine is ours again. Now we need to prepare a grand feast to welcome you to Namira's coven. You will have the honor of bringing a fresh kill for the main course, and I know the perfect person. Um. Yeah. <laughs> just tell me who needs to die. Who is it? A priest filled with the taste of an easy life. Brother Verilus from Markarth. Give him this gold. Tell him you need Arcae's help exploring an old cavern for treasure. And when he stands in Amira's presence, she will take care of the rest. Uh, do, do we want... So, let's see. Nearby foes suffer weakness to poison. Interesting. Murder the innocent. No, we're not, we're not going to fall uh, Namira, right? Say hello to Verilus for me. All right, so there we go. We found her. I don't know why she wasn't here. Like, she was supposed to approach us, but hey, we found some treasure instead. So, and we'll go, we'll go back to Markarth okay. and get him to follow us back. So let's do it. Well, so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? She has like 4K gold. Nice. So we'll do that, we'll keep that. Um, this we're gonna break down. That will break down, crap, we're gonna break down a bunch of stuff. So we'll sell that. We're gonna keep that. Gold sapphire, yeah, we'll sell that too. Cool. I don't know if we have anything else to, oh, the potion, yeah, we have potions, right, we're selling our potions. Yeah, we'll keep the poison ones there, right? Um, sell those. Oh, these fortify enchantment potions, I think these are incredibly rare, like the fortify smithing ones. Hmm. We can't craft those. What's that, 20%? Ew, sell all of these. We definitely don't need four of those. Anything else? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm. We have to drop all these off at home. We have to. We have to go home. Seriously, we have too much stuff. Now you let me know if you need a cure or anything else. Cool. All right, so we went out with the crash. We reloaded. We got some loot. We sold some loot. You know. Here Hello, my friend. We what can I do for you on such a life. fine day? Uh, I need help of a priest on my travels. You are looking for Arkay's protection while you delve some dank tomb, I take it. My duties keep me busy in Markarth. I don't know if I can help you. Well, there would be treasure to share. Treasure, you say? I suppose the Jarl won't mind if I'm gone for a little while. Lead on. Treasure! Treasure! Treasure, treasure, treasure. Alright, we're... Now we're gonna head back. Oh, uh, there we go. We'll head back and continue the, uh, the ritual that happens there. And snacks. What city is most similar to Markarth in real life? I don't know. What? What? <laughs> we flew through the air to the other side. That was great. I hope there's no combat up ahead, because I'm not prepared for it. Yep. All right. Oh, it's a, it's a uh, soldier battle. Stay back. Damn you, all you've got. Oh. 
All right. Give me the loot. Single septum. Yeah. It's all kind of garbage. Oh, wow. Okay, they lost a battle mage. Nice. Apprentice boots. And anything else good here? No. Anybody else? I don't think so. I think it's alt, right? Excellent. All right, carry on. Yeah, they'll all catch up. Mm. Alright, we got everyone? Yes. Priest of RK. I'm your friend. <clears throat> You're my friend? Yes, I'm your friend, and I've invited you to dinner. I've been invited to dinner. I'm so hungry. Why don't you lay down and rest while we get the meal ready? I need to lay down. I'll just be a minute. Come with me. Our feast is about to begin. All right. Here we go. Oh my goodness. All right, so now we, do we have to progress the quest at all or? What are we waiting for here? Alright, give me a minute here while we try and figure out what the heck's going on. Here she comes. The meal is on the nearest table. Go ahead, carve. So, we can kill him. But the truth is, I have a better idea. We're gonna kill all them instead! No more necromancers! Ah! Nobody escapes! What? What happened? Um. You were this close to being food. Sweet breath of RK. Were these the cannibals that were plaguing the Hall of the Dead? I need to get back to Markarth. Here, take this. It's the least I can do for saving my life. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover. Thousand gold. Nice. All right. So let's see. It's too bad we didn't really get to talk to any of them, but. The, uh, just, well, so this, this person obviously worked at, uh, you know, in, in, at the stables, right? They were, um, the, what is it, the person who sold dogs, right? But they trained their dogs by basically, like, you know, uh, battle dogs were trained by eating human meat, right? This person is the, uh, manages the, the trading, or the main trading group thing. We're going to perform RK's rights on this person. Then we'll see who they are. Uh, it doesn't say who this person was specifically. But... 
What else we got around here? Perform as many rites as we can on these people, right? <laughs> Eric's, Eric's sitting down for dinner. So let's see. Ra spell tome, raise the dead. We'll learn it, right? Viewed rib cage. Yeah, this is empty. And then their leader, who is now stuck behind an urn, and uh, put her up on the table instead. No, no. Okay, fine. Whatever. A urn root. Nice. And I think on the table here, if we check, right? I mean, they're able to take all the silver, right? We're gonna take all their silver! But mostly what we're going to take is the human flesh that they have here, because it's alchemical. And we are now over encumbered. That's okay, because we got a bunch of silver. We killed. All of the cannibals. And I do believe this is going to be a short episode today, right? So we managed to kill all the cannibals and take them all out. Uh, we failed the quest, but now Markarth's a little bit safer. And the best part is, is that all of the guards are going, like, the, the people are going to notice that a bunch of people from Markarth have disappeared, and they're going to blame it on the guards. Because the, oh my god, Eric's teleporting around. Um, remember how they wrongfully imprisoned me and they're looking for new people to fill the prisons? Well, what's going to happen is all these people are going to go missing all of a sudden, right? And after they hear about how all the people in the prison are dead, and so they're going to start to put two and two together, right? Because the guards are going to say, oh, no, we didn't arrest them, you know, but so people of Markarth are going to start to get a little bit more suspicious of what's going on. So that's going to be the end of our episode today. I'm not too sure what we'll be doing in the next episode, but I will see you.